All right, YouTube, this is my owner's review of the limited edition Nakamichi Dragon 11.4.6. I just received it about a week ago. This is my setup. This is where the uh, subwoofer is and the sound bar. I'm still waiting for the brackets for the surround sound, so I have it behind the sofa against the wall on top of my tower speaker that the Nakamichi Dragon replaced. This is the angle right here. And I'm going to play you a few clips of different movies and a few clips of music. This first clip is going to be from Godzilla vs. Kong and this is the Tokyo battle scene. I have the volume at 25 and the uh, decoder for Dolby Atmos and the EQ to movie 1. I have the height at full blast and uh, here you go. This next clip is going to be The Edge of Tomorrow is on Prime and it's not even Dolby Atmos but it's very very loud and the effects are awesome.
So that was an incredible scene. Super loud, super accurate. This next clip is from Captain America Civil War, the airport battle scene. One of my favorites to test speakers and sound systems. Rudy, you want to take Cap? Got to the terminal, Wilson and Barnes. Barnes is money. Hey, Mr. Stark, what should I do? What we discuss, keep your distance, web them up. Okay, copy that. <laughs> Move, Captain. I won't ask a second time. Look, I really don't want to hurt you. I wouldn't stress about it. Shot 18. This can't seem to miss. First time for everything. Made you look. Multiple contusions detected. Yeah, I detected that too. Explain the rigidity flexibility ratio, which gotta say that's awesome. Man. I don't know if you've been in a fight before, but now. Oh come on! Oh man, I thought it was a wire truck. Uh, sorry. All right, now I'm pissed. Is this part of the plan? Well, my plan was go easy on him. You want to switch it up? It's all right. Come on! Tim Rogers. I know you believe what you're doing is right, but for the collective... This last clip of the movies is Avengers Endgame, the final battle scene. Do you remember when Mary's face 
and I got all dusty, and I must I'm have gonna, passed out. I'm gonna skip through uh, it a little bit. sword spinning around you could hear it all around the room that was pretty good you hear it you're the tech everything from me i don't even know who you are you will Last but not least, I'm going to do some music. This is on the all channel stereo. I left the uh, surround sound on Dolby uh, and the music mode on one, the music EQ. I'm going to start off with.
smoking weed in the street without cops harassing. Imagine going to court with no trial. Lifestyle cruising through by humble waters. No welfare supporters. More conscious of the way we raise our daughters. Days are shorter, nights are colder. You're feeling like life is over. These snakes strike like a cobra. The world's hot. I'm So overall, I like the system a lot. Uh, music wise, by itself, is not going to be better than tower speakers, but you get a lot for sound effects. Uh, the remote is a lot of controls. It does have a lot of AVR type of control over your system. Uh, pretty simple. You get to the, the remote control. You get to the all the settings pretty quick. Height, rear, front, center, treble, surround uh, side, surround back, volume, bass, how many subwoofers, one, two, uh, one through four. You can select. Pretty simple. You get right to the point. Uh, you don't have to go into app once it's set up. So it's pretty good overall. I would say it it is. I'm comparing it to a a Yamaha Avantage uh, seven point uh, point two. I'm sorry, seven point one point two system. So was it seven point one? Okay. Anyways, it, it had two high channels and uh, five surround channels. And uh, one subwoofer had a clips uh, a 400 uh, watt clips subwoofer 12 inch. I forgot the series, but um, this is comparable sound. Loudness is comparable. Uh, I would say that the uh, the effects for for surround sound is more on on the on the dragon. The dragon you can 
play it very low and you it could still sound good and 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 be be exciting you know so you can watch it like at pretty much like volume five or six and you can still get all the effects of the heights the surround sound it's pretty immersive i would say that this system is not for a bedroom uh it's too much for that it would be for good for a medium to large size living room a theater room or a man cave living room yeah it's good but definitely not for a smaller room and if you live in an apartment this will be overkill for it um, it still sounds good at low so you don't have to turn it up but uh, if you buy it for pure music listening I would say I would say tower speakers is still gonna sound better uh, overall but this is pretty pretty good for an out-of-box uh, sound bar um, and the the best part about it is the placement of the speakers you can place it in uh, multiple different uh, positions uh, it's pretty easy to set up it's I don't have I haven't heard any interference from the satellite speakers or or um, connectivity issues but you know uh, I don't know that in long-term use I, I, I would find out more so uh, thanks a lot let me know if I can help you with any questions